Hello, Emily Lisbeth in YouTube. It's item number seven on our collective bucket list and item number three on my bucket list. My bucket list item today is classes that I have always wanted to take. And I'm going to mention three classes. I'm actually taking four classes this semester. I'm taking acrylic painting, which is amazing. And then I'm taking um, an acting class. Um, and this is our current uh, classy text. But I'm really enjoying it and I'm working on a monologue from Hurley Burley in which I get to be high. Um, and I've never been high before, so playing high is going to be interesting. I think I'm just going to hang out with some people I know who are frequently high, and then they could just tell me everything. And hopefully that will help me on here a little bit um, with emoting better and perhaps with better enunciation. Um, I should have started this episode out with um, some practices from my, my class. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the roof of the mouth. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow. I can't do that one. And then lip trolls, which I've always loved. <laughs> the second class that I'm taking, that I've been dying to take since actually high school, um, and acting was one that I had been also planning on taking like all through college. I had been planning on minoring in theater, and I very much enjoy the show and the performance and getting to be outside of yourself. So. That was something that had always been on my bucket list, but also had always been on my bucket list is to take a history course on the Cold War. Uh, get to read this book in, oh god, I have so much reading too. I've like barely started, I'm like here or something. I think I've passed the introduction. That's good, right? And I'm actually significantly further in this. I'm like here, no, I'm like here in this book. Um, and this is also Europe since 1945. And I'm very much enjoying that class. And then the third class that I have been dying to take, and this has only been since I've been at school, but my freshman year, in fall semester, one of the seniors was taking a uh, literature of science fiction course. And I immediately knew that that was what I wanted to take for my upper level English. Like, that was my plan. Um, and so I'm finally getting to take it because it took them um, three, more, three more years to run it again, like the last for this possible in my career that they ran it again because it was spring of my or fall of my freshman year and spring of my senior year that they've run it. Um, this is the second book we're working on. It's We by Ivegni. I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce Russian. I'm going to try. Ivegni Zamyatin. Um, it's called We, but in, apparently in Russian it would be better translated from the Russian as my, but in the English language it's always been we. Um, so I'm reading this, and we just finished War of the Worlds, which was good, and the movie was interesting. I don't usually watch those kind of movies because I get really scared, but uh, this has some fascinating writing. It's very disjointed, it's very stream of consciousness, but not quite yet. And it was only written in like the 19, like late 1910s, early 1920s era, and it is really, really forward thinking does not have cell phones, but it's very forward thinking. Anyway, that is my bucket list item for the week. And I'm sorry that this was late. And Emily, I can't wait to see what you have for us tomorrow. Bye guys.